Let us make English fun with mom love. So please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. Quarter 2, Module 4. It is milk-based. Use personal pronouns and sentences. Objectives. Identify personal pronouns that agrees with its antecedents. And use personal pronouns in sentences. First, let us define what pronoun is. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or simply replaces a noun. Please do remember, children, the word replaces a noun. Later on, we're going to move on with this and discuss more deeply. Okay, so again, as I've said a while ago, it simply replaces a noun. So let us have this example. Mrs. Ernie is my English teacher. Mrs. Ernie loves to read a lot. So, instead of saying Mrs. Ernie twice, we are going to remove the other one and replace this noun into a pronoun, okay? So, we are not going to use Mrs. Ernie in this. So, instead, we're going to use a specific pronoun in this kind of noun, all right? Okay, so what kind of noun we're going to use in this noun? To replace it, we're going to use she. So on how are we going to find the correct and appropriate pronoun for this kind of noun? We are going to study this more as the slide goes on. So children, please do listen carefully. Okay. So again, for the second time, again, pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or simply replaces a noun. Okay, so children, we have different kinds of nouns. We have subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive pronouns, and indefinite pronouns, and so on. But today, we're going to focus on the subject and then the object pronouns only, all right? I will be doing another video with possessive pronouns and indefinite pronouns, okay? All right, so children, in identifying what pronoun to be used, it is very important to know the person. First person, this is the person talking to. Second person, it is the person spoken to. And then the third person, so these are the persons, animals, or things spoken about. All right, so S and P stands for singular, singular, and then plural, all right? Okay, so in first person or the person talking, we're going to use I if it's singular, and then we're going to use we if it's plural in subject pronoun. But in object pronoun, we're going to use me if it's singular, as if it's plural, all right? So let's move on to second person, the person spoken to. All right, so as you can see, both in subject and in object pronouns, we're going to use you, whether it is singular or plural. We're going to use you, all right? Next, third person, these are the persons, animals, or things spoken about. In subject pronouns, we're going to use he, she, and it, if it's singular. If it's plural, we're going to use they. In object pronouns, we're going to use him, her, it, if it's a singular. And if it's plural, we're going to use them. All right? So let's move on to the next slide. Okay. So subject pronoun children functions as subject of the sentence, the subject of an implied verb after then and as. The predicate complement. Okay, so now let us have this. So subject pronoun. As I've said a while ago, it is very important to know these three things. Okay. Person. Noun number. Noun gender. So these are what you are going to consider in picking out the proper and a appropriate subject pronoun in a sentence, all right? Okay, so now let us start. Okay, subject pronoun I, we, you, he, she, it, and they, all right? So now numbers, S stands for singular and P stands for plural. 
person, uh, first person, second person, and then third person. Noun gender, masculine for boys, and then feminine for girls, all right? So I have here examples. Okay, number one example. Gerald, Mike, and I are best friends. So there is the pronoun I. So you yourself is included in there. So you're not going to use any other pronoun except in we because yourself is included okay so first thing to consider is 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 that a singular or a plural one so gerald mike and i so three persons so meaning to say the null number is plural all right okay so what about the person because yourself is included it's in the first person okay plural and then masculine all right so whether it is masculine or feminine if it's plural and then first person we're gonna use we okay so instead of saying gerald mike and i so we're gonna use we we are best friends all right next number two lester is a transferee who will be joining our class so again let us identify lester if it's A bo uh, if it's boy or girl, Lester is a boy, okay? So definitely, the noun gender is masculine, okay? So le how many is Lester? Okay, so Lester is only one, so definitely it's singular, okay? So singular, and then masculine, and then third person pertaining to a boy. All right, so we're gonna use he, Okay, so what about, uh, let us change Lester into Leia. Leia is a transferee who will be joining our class. All right, so definitely we're not going to use he because Leia is a girl. So definitely we're going to use she, okay? So that's it, children. It is very important to know the noun gender and the noun number as well, okay? So next one, Leia, Leo, and Liz. So yourself is not included in here, all right? All right, so Leia, Leo, and Liz. So they are plural, all right? Okay, so still in third person. So whether they are um, masculine or feminine in noun gender, so we're going to use they, all right? Okay, so now let us move on. Okay, so let us have the object pronoun. Okay, so it is a direct object of the verb, indirect object, object of an infinitive, and object of a preposition. Okay, so same process also in subject pronoun. We are going to identify the person, the noun gender, and um, if it's singular or plural. Okay, so same process also. Okay, so let us have these examples. Okay, so... Two examples. Number one, do you know Dr. Lopez? Okay, so we are pertaining to one person, so singular, and then third person. Uh huh. Okay, so we're gonna use him for boys. Okay, so uh, boy, masculine. So we're gonna use him. All right. So what about um? Let us change it to um, Dr. Lopez. So we're not going to use him because it's for masculine only so we're gonna use her okay next number two chu family will be off to us we will be missing chu family so instead of repeating um chu family so we're gonna change it to them third person okay so that's it so let us have this let us have a short recap. What is a pronoun again? It is a word that takes the place of a noun or simply replaces a noun. Pronoun also uses to replace or to refer to nouns and noun phrases. The word or words that a pronoun stands for are its antecedent or reference. Again, what is an antecedent? This is the word a pronoun stands for. In identifying antecedent, children it is very important to know which one there is the noun antecedent and it has to be agreed on both sides all right okay so pronouns must agree with their antecedents 
Okay? So to determine the correct pronoun to use, you must identify its noun antecedent. The pronoun and the antecedent must agree in number one in person, number two in number, number three and in gender. Pronouns and determiners have antecedents. All right. Okay, so that's um, the same as what we did a while ago. So we identified the person, whether it is a first person, second person, or third person, in number whether it is singular or plural, and then gender, if it's masculine or feminine. So let us now have the pronoun antecedent agreement. So let's have an example. The first one, Georgie has a car. She drives really fast. So let us identify which one first is the noun. So Georgie here is the noun. So Georgie, how many is Georgie? Okay, so one only. So definitely it's a singular. So... We are going to use she, okay? So she is for feminine, singular feminine, okay? So next one, Georgie and Jerry have red cars. They both have red cars. So which one there is the noun? Okay, Georgie and Jerry are nouns. So instead of using Georgie and Jerry in the second sentence, we're going to use they, Okay, so Georgie and Jerry, so we replaced it in um, pronoun they. Okay, so last example, Gio, Gia, and I, so you yourself is included, have Toyota cars. Okay, so instead of repeating these names, so we replace those names into we. Okay, so in that case, pronoun antecedent agreement are all correct. Okay, so again, children, please do remember, pronoun must agree with its antecedent. Okay, so next one, let us try and learn. Okay, let us replace the paragraph by replacing the underlined nouns with personal pronouns. So personal pronouns, whether it is subject or object pronouns, it can be. Okay, so let us try. All right, so mother went to the grocery one day. The sales lady smiled at mother and welcome. Okay, so let us try this one. So mother, how many is mother? Only one. So what is the gender? Okay, so uh, feminine. So we have her. Okay, let us read it again. The sales lady smiled at her and welcome. The next underlined noun. Okay. Mr. Reynoso asked what mother needs. Okay, we are pertaining to Mr. Reynoso. How many is Mr. Reynoso? Only one. Okay, so masculine. So we are going to use he. He asked what mother needs. Mr. Reynoso said that Mr. Reynoso and the sales lady are willing to help mother. So we are talking about Mr. Reynoso and the sales lady. So both of them are willing to help mother. So what um, pr uh, personal pronouns are we going to use? Okay, so they. So Mr. Reynoso said that they are willing to help whom? Her. Okay. Mother, let's continue. Mother wants to buy some fresh milk. Okay, so she... Okay, she wants to buy some fresh milk. All right, so next um, sentence, fresh milk is healthier than soft drinks, said Mr. Reynoso. So we are talking about fresh milk. So let us replace fresh milk into proper pronoun. Okay, so the proper and appropriate pronoun to be used is it. It is healthier than soft drinks. Okay, so last one. The sales lady went inside the store. The sales lady came back after, uh, came back rather with a box of fresh milk. So let us replace sales lady into personal pronoun. Okay, so she came back with a box of fresh milk. All right. I hope you are learning some. Children, let us try the independent practice. You can answer it on your seat while listening to me. All right. So write the correct personal pronouns that will complete the paragraph. Okay, so how many um, underlined words we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to supply the proper and appropriate personal 
pronouns in these lines. All right. Okay, so let us move on. Mika and Dena are friends. So we are pertaining to Mika and Nena. All right. So what appropriate personal pronouns are we going to use in here? Okay, so they is my answer, same as your answer. Okay, so let's continue. They are neighbors and classmates too. They enjoy playing badminton. They say blank is an exercise and a fun way to spend their time. Okay, in the second underlined uh, missing word, uh, what are we pertaining here? Which one here is the antecedent? So the antecedent in there is badminton. We are talking about badminton. So let us replace badminton into proper personal pronoun. So the correct answer is it. Is my answer same as your answer? Okay, so let's continue. They say it is an exercise and a fun way to spend their time. Okay, let's move on to the next. Coach Sarah invited them to join the badminton team. Okay, so we are pertaining to Coach Sarah. Okay, Coach Sarah. All right, so what personal pronouns are we going to use in here? Okay, so she, all right. Okay, so she said it will be fun. Okay, so next. Uh, next sentence, Mr. San Luis, the class advisor, said, all right, so we are pertaining to Mr. San Luis. So we're going to replace Mr. San Luis with a personal pronoun. Okay, the correct answer is he. Okay, all right, so next is, uh, he said he will allow them to join okay so them in here we are talking about mika and nena in here okay so that's it i hope you've learned something new today children and i hope um you can answer the exercises i've posted in uh, your google classroom okay so if you do have any questions feel free to send a message on our group chat all right so see you again to our next lesson about adjectives okay enjoy